Today I am here with Cole. He's gonna be my victim for the day. We're currently working on Crush, and I'll tell you a little bit more about him when we get back. But he's sitting right there, he's on the trailer. We gotta tarp on him to prevent any sun from fading him anymore. We gotta run up to the warehouse to get a certain tool. You shouldn't need this certain tool when you're working on something like this, especially what we're going to work on. There's the fancy BMW. So now you know that we're at the warehouse. You saw the BMW, I'm, I guess I'm in the warehouse. Uh, I need to pick up my welder. My welder is right here on the ground here. This is something that you should not need when you're working on the wheel of your YXZ or four-wheeler dirt bike, anything. You should never need one of these, just to let you know. So Cole and I are here to pick this thing up. We gotta pick up the tank. Uh, a couple wrenches to put it back together once we get down to the house then I'll show you the problem that we're dealing with. We got the welder, we got the tank. Have you entered yet? So here's what we're dealing with. You guys remember a few weeks ago, Jake, Seth, my girlfriend and I went riding. The ride lasted probably about 30 minutes and then all of a sudden my wheel was feeling funky and I got out of Crush, checked my wheel, and then about 100 yards later, the crush lost a wheel. So I'm looking at the, the problem right now. We've taken some of this apart, and I will show you something else while we're, while we're at it here. But here's the hub. The hub needs to be replaced because the splines inside the hub are just completely shot. And not only that, but it's going to be a sucker to get all three of those brake rotor bolts out. So that thing's just shot. That can be a nice wall hanger for somebody. So since the hub's shot, we have the same problem with the axle here. The splines are shot on that. The threads are shot there. The boot up in here is shot. So this whole axle, brand new axle that probably has about three or four hours on it. You can still read everything crystal clear. Is, is shot. Along with that, our caliper has some chewings on it. Our brake pads don't look too bad though, those are good. So what had happened was this nut came off. Somehow I cranked this nut on here at about 250, I think, foot pounds. That's what the manual calls for. I put that I put that on like that and what I thought I forgot was, not bringing in the shade here, there's this little mark here. I took a punch and punched this sucker so that it would lock into that little notch. And I thought I forgot to do that. Well, I did do that and somehow this axle nut still came off, which led to our hub falling off, which led to our wheel falling off, which led to chaos, which you guys know 3D Machines is all about. We only got a couple hours on our EBC rotor here. The rotor didn't break or anything. It kind of bent because of course the, the wheel fell off, right? But it sucks that all this stuff is brand new and just because of one nut coming loose, it affects so many things. So what I did, was after this situation happened, I went out and bought one of these guys. I'm like, if I had, because after after this predicament happened, I went to Harbor Freight, saw this kit, and I'm like, man, this thing had a 19 millimeter in it. If I had that sucker in my truck, we wouldn't have had to load it like we did, because you remember we loaded it like, uh... Okay. That was smart. <laughs> Yeah, like that. What we could have done with a 19 millimeter is taken this wheel right off, got this piece of plastic out, got to our axle nut, and then tried to put it on instead of being He-Man woman haters and throwing it on like we did. So after buying this kit, I don't have very many tools here. It's all up at my warehouse. So I took this out. I'm like, okay, let's try this thing for the very first time. First time taking off my first lug nut, which they're right there. Broke this thing, that thing shot, it's broken. Luckily, Cole's scissor jack works. This thing comes with a 19 millimeter, so I ended up using this after I broke my 3 8 ratchet. So now you guys are caught up to speed. Now you can see what we're dealing with. I wanna hook up the welder because I have to weld this hub to this axle in order to get crush off the trailer because I don't have these parts in right now. And uh, this, this nut just does not wanna screw onto this axle shaft. So what I'm literally going to do is tack that sucker just like that actually probably welded up pretty good so that this hub stays on there so that we can mount our wheel and get crush off of the trailer not the best ride that is for sure the tarp is off crush the machine and the tire is welded on the hubs welded on so now i gotta back up my truck get it locked and loaded to the hitch so that way we can back this sucker back into there we did clean out a spot and uh it, it should fit to put it into perspective how big my warehouse is compared to my garage Crush takes up about half of what it does here, and then at my shop, at my warehouse, it takes up like a quarter 
of the space. But now he's out of the sun. I figured I'd update you while I moved him. And just like that, it's the following day. We're in the middle of town and we have the Jeep frame on the trailer. This thing is completely torn down. It's, we're going to take it to get sandblasted right now so that it's crystal clean. Or at least the rust is removed. I'm trying to make everybody happy. So we have a Jeep frame Dodge. We have it hauled by a Chevy. And we went to the scrapyard a little bit ago and we're getting some Ford parts. So we're making everybody happy. And if you're not happy, well, I'm sorry for you. You, you need to really... Uh... So they have available... Oh yeah, and Jason's with me. How you doing? So currently the guy is tearing out the rear differential of a Explorer. And while he's doing that, we're gonna go run this up to the sandblaster. So we're trying to kill as many birds as possible. We just got lunch, everything's working well. We, we, how many Explorers did he have? Probably 10 or so? No, oh, it's more than that. And there was only one differential that would work. Only one. Gave up on the Danas pretty quick. Yep. It quickly became a Jord or a Feep. <laughs> it's going to become. So the axle we selected is a S615E. And it's the prime, the prime swap, the prime swap for the 8.8, .8. uh, 410 gear ratio, limited slip. It's about an inch narrower than the, uh, than stronger, the better, same ratio. And if you're a Ford fan, it's got Ford pieces. <laughs> we just got the differential inside the warehouse. It's sitting right here. This is our Ford 8.8. .8. It's got all the braking stuff. It's got the sway bar. It's got a much heavier duty structure. I mean, you can see the width on that. You can see the width on this housing. This housing is so much more wimpy. I can see why people were saying and pitching these 8.8s. Uh, the guy just torched it right off. He torched this off specifically for us. We, we found the vehicle and uh, we said, okay, that's the one we want. So we went out and got it with a front loader and torched it off. So now we gotta get a lot of lubricant and uh, just start comparing this one to that one, seeing what uh, mounts have to be welded. That was a leaf spring. That's why it has a, a flat base here. Leaf springs used to go there, where these ones, we got our coil springs. So that is one thing right off the bat, but uh, there are definitely way more than, than just that. Any thoughts, Jason? Well, this axle, for those who wanna know, is axle code D2, Delta II. Uh -huh. Came out of a 99 Explorer with a tow package. Tow package. Tow package. Otherwise, it would have been the 373. This sucker is built, and people are saying that this is the diff to go with. So it's like the 8.8, the 9, or the 44. But this, the Ford 8.8, is as strong as the Ford 9 inch, and it's also stronger than the Dana 44. So there you go, you guys. I don't know what's more exciting. This or the Traxxas giveaway. If you haven't gotten on that, there's only a couple more days left. Get on it. Took the diff cover off, and this is what the gears look like. Someone has been in here because it had like a black RTV gasket maker on it. Also, this fluid isn't too bad. You can kind of see right there. It's that nice yellow color. But the gears look amazing. Beautiful. I wonder if they'd had a problem with it and it's already been replaced. And they just replaced it. <laughs> And put it in a nice rusty housing. Why, we should have asked him why it was turned into them. Dude, that thing is beautiful. I love it. Limited slip. And something really, really killer. It's got the exact same wheel and bolt pattern. Here's the original brake drum. Not that we're going to reuse that. No, we're, look at that. Fits perfectly. We don't even have to look for a different hub. That's sweet. The internet can be right sometimes. I don't know about that. We're making progress. Machines and machines freaks are making progress. I'm loving it. I hope you guys are too. We got like uh, two mounts off this. Well, we actually cut three off this differential. I have two of them mounted here. We have the same angle. Well, I guess you don't have the same angle. What we did was we put this differential up 10 degrees. That way it's going to be a little less harsh on our drive shaft, even though we have a way better drive shaft. We'll put the link for these in the comment section. They're coming in clutch. These come with 540s and 580s, I believe. I don't have a plasma cutter or a torch, so what, I'm, what I've been doing is I've been taking my big welder over there, cranking the amperage up, and then putting it on DC negative, and cutting through everything with, a, with my stick instead of welding stuff together. And you can see it's definitely cutting really nice.
So you guys just saw me cut off this mount with my stick welder here. It's probably still hot. So that's what it looks like when we cut it. It's not as clean as a torch or a plasma cutter, but it definitely does a pretty good job. And then after we welded it on here, then it looks something like that. So that looks real nice. And it's definitely stronger than factory. The differential itself, the welds, everything. So we have three mounts left on the, the previous differential. We already have all that documented thanks to Jason. So then tomorrow we'll tackle this and get those remaining pieces done. And we have some slightly bad news. We didn't take, we took the frame up to the sandblasting guy, but he suggested that we do a couple things before he touches it because we have to go, or we have to go about it a little slightly different way. So you guys will probably see the frame too tomorrow. And then I don't know what other chaos we'll get into, but we'll definitely get into some chaos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. Uh, that, the, what do we got, like five days on the giveaway, Jason? Something like that? Is that what it's yeah. down to? I think so. Get in on it while you can. Until next time, 3D Machines, Jason, and the Jeep pieces out. Have a good day. Yay!